Yeah, that one. The 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 Pride Pog is my favourite one. I think it's due to the amount of storms we're having. We are on one week of them, still another week to go. Oft. So that's mad. Okay, let's finally talk to this guy. You'll love that one. I appreciate you as a person. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate being appreciated. Welcome. Right, we're going to talk to uh, Arch Cannon again. Pay no attention to this Ashlander. She's been blathering on about Lord Vivek's condition and how she can help. But I'm certain it's a trick of some sort. I was just about to have her thrown out of the city or possibly tossed to the slaughter fish. Um, I've played like a decent amount of chubs, so I this is my second character. Um, my first one got to level 30 something and now I'm level 22 with this one. But I've done the main story in like the the base game. I've done the main story in Northern Elsewhere. We're now doing the main story in Vardenfell. And then I think I'm going to do Somerset. So I'm kind of just like working my way through the expansions at this point, to be fair. But um, I'm really enjoying it. I still have a lot to learn though and I'm still, I've never got to the point of level 50 which is when you change over to champion points. So I don't know how any of that works. So we'll see. This is all I have. <clears throat> That's not bad. Well, you've got quite a lot already. I've actually got way more than I thought I had of them. It looks like your cup of tea. It's really, it's really nice. It's, it's definitely one of the it's the type of MMO that I like because it's not so much MMO-ish. <laughs> um, you can play, like, I've I've done all of those stories and I have not yet had to play with, like, another person. I've not had to group up for anything. Um, so, like, that suits me. I don't like to have to rely on um, people, other people, to get through story points. Like, I remember when we played Final Fantasy XIV, there was dungeons you had to do through the main story and I don't like that I like being able to dungeons to me are secondary so I like to just be able to go about on my own and play the story as if it's like a single player RPG except it's got the the movement and the fighting of an MMO so yeah this is good right this is this is Seren the person I was talking to you about I know who she is I still don't trust her, and I refuse to let her anywhere near Lord Vivek. Who knows what an Ashlander would do while the warrior poet is in such a fragile state. But I need her help. It's going to take two of us to operate this tonal inverter. A tonal what now? Well, since I can't go with you, or with Lord Vivek requiring my undivided attention, I suppose we'll have to let the Ashlander assist you. Very well. Excuse me? Take her and defeat Chodala. Then bring me a stop so we can restore Vivek. I don't just scream at you. I politely ask if you have spare herbs. Since you're the craft person. <laughs> you're the person that put all your stats in into crafts, you know. Thank you so much for the bits, King. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Your bit amount is, is going up. Steady, slow and steady, King. Uh, I like it. Okay, sooner I will soon be in her hands. Let's talk to Saren. She's making a lot of huffing and puffing. If that old idiot is what passes for a tribunal leader, it's no wonder the houses are in such disarray. Mm, it can be a bit of a dick. No time to dwell on that, though. I found my brother, and it's worse than I feared. Chodala's quest for power has led him down a dark path. Oh no, what do you mean a dark path? Chodala and his most loyal followers have taken refuge in a ruin called Kaush Tarari. It's an ancient shrine devoted to the Daedric Prince Malakath. I think uh -oh. my brother plans to ask the God of Curses to help him. Uh-oh. I've got a device that will counter it, but I need your help. It will allow us to stop Chodala? Then of course I'll help you. Since the tribunal's dogs took my weapons, I'll need to replace them. Meet me at the ruins when you're ready. Okay. <clears throat> you need to start cleaning shortly. Oh man. I've actually, I did a lot of cleaning the other day, so my house is pretty much... Hmm. What is this? 
don't know. Get a word reading it. No, it's since lockdown and I don't miss it. Yeah, I've definitely been drinking more since lockdown. <laughs> I don't I don't generally drink, but on Friday nights the now we're doing like a family uh we do like a video call with the family and we were doing Who Am I last night and Bingo and I, I end up drinking during those. Right, where am I meeting you? Where oh, oh over here. Okay, okay. Uh probably the closest place is this. This place is awkward though, but I could just cut across. There's no other one anywhere near it, right? So Unless I go from here. Let's range around here. Uh, yeah, I'll just go. I think I'll just go here. Twenty-six thousand seven hundred. Gonna cut it out now, though. Yeah, I'll maybe do that once our lockdown ends. <laughs> no hurry, though. No hurry. There's no, there's no sense in hurrying that process. Right this way, and then. What is it? Wait, why is it? Where's the thing? Oh, there. This side. That's this way. Okay. Right, let's go see what's happening. I I mean, I say I've been drinking more that one night a week and I had three drinks. <laughs> but I don't normally drink, like, very, I, I'm normally like a maybe once a month, month, once every few months, like, person that will drink. But, so once a week right now is a lot more for me. But I don't ever drink to the point where I'm like, get a hangover the next day or anything. So it's all good. It's more just the expense of buying drink. Drink is so not cheap and I'm not used to spending money on it. That's mostly what, is, what the problem is. These plants are cool, look. All the tentacles. Is that harvestable? No. See, this area is really nice in, the, in Vardenfell. I like this with all of like the giant mushrooms and the plants are really cool. I'm not a big fan of the volcanic region, which is a large part of the map. Like, see all around this side. I'm not. I'm not as big a fan. Oh, oh! I'm going to get this pure first. Hold on. One. You average one beer a day. Hmm. That. I suppose that can maybe. I want to average one a week. Yeah. I get that. Oh. Here we are, on the Furious One's bloody doorstep, preparing to enter a Daedric Ruin to try to stop my brother's march toward power. I hope that device you mentioned really can counter the invulnerability granted by the staff sooner or. Right, take this. It's a tonal inverter. It should disrupt the staff's power for a short amount of time. Well, that's larger than I expected. Oh, that's what she said. But it looks simple enough to operate. I suppose it's better that I work the device. I'm not sure I'm capable of attacking Chodala. He's still my brother, no matter how dangerous his beliefs have become. Right, take a look at these instructions. They'll tell you how to use it. I'll help you counter the effects of Sunara. Maybe once we neutralize it, Chodala will listen to reason. I know that's probably just wishful thinking. I'll settle for finding out who tempted Chodala with that damn stuff. Maybe you can just clarify a few points beforehand. Go ahead. Ask your questions. Then head into the ruins. I'll be right behind you. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully she doesn't turn her back on me and end up stabbing me in the back. Why would she seek refuge here? The tribes rejected him. Azura set her face against him. Now Chodala is seeking aid wherever he can find it. That makes him more desperate than I imagined. And more dangerous. 
Why he decided to solicit Malakath, the god of curses, I have no idea. Time to walk the dog and IRL Stardew. No problem, well, enjoy. Enjoy. It's time for a dice roll. This time I'll allow a new one, a d20. Pick one. D6 is the same as before, however, d20, the number you pick, is equal to the exact number of bits. So, d20, am I picking like up to the number 20? So, like 13. Right, tell me more about this Malakath. Malakath's an evil god, the Daedric Prince of Curses and Broken Promises. Perhaps that's why Chodala has sought him out. The prophecy of the Nereverine was Chodala's to fulfill before it was wrenched away from him. Could Malakath be involved in what's happening? Perhaps, but I don't think so. The Oathbreaker prefers a more direct approach. He isn't one to hide behind convoluted schemes and plots. Still, if Malakath agrees to support my brother, we'll have one more problem to deal with. Okay, 13. I saw you and the Arch Cannon arguing. Why, would, why have you agreed to help? It's true, I have no love of the Tribunal. I also have no stomach for a war between my people and the Great Houses. Too much blood will be spilled to no good end. Even Azura proclaims that my brother must be stopped. I'll help you in any way I can. Okay. I'll need to trust her for now, I suppose. Let's go. It was a one. No problem. Thank you very much for the bits. Thank you. Right, okay. This is going to be fun. I took a lot of damage there that wasn't necessary. Over there, those red exiles, they've been slaughtered. Chodala, he's gone mad. Oh, thank you. Sought to make a deal with a Daedric prince. Hmm, I need way more coffee. How are you so awake on a Saturday? <laughs> I've had two coffees already, but I've been up since 7 o'clock, so yeah. Do you play Minecraft? I have in the past, and I I have a, a small plan to play it again. I do like it, it's just not something I've played in a long time. Cordy, good morning. How are you? Okay, what happened here? Chodala appealed to Malakath, but the god of curses rebuked him. He killed us all. Said Chodala already served another. Where can we find them? He went deeper into the ruins, into Malakath's shrine. A nether update? Oh, I don't even have it downloaded or anything. I'll not be playing Minecraft for a while, but yeah. A lot has changed. I've not played Minecraft in about. Mm, I don't know. Man, like. Eight years or something. A great sword, okay. 
Managed to sleep, excellent. That is always a win. The fuck was that noise? I woke up in a panic thinking I was late for work. Oh no, that is the worst way to wake up, man. Honestly, I hate that. Waking up in a panic, what I used These to do creatures. sometimes. They don't belong to Malakath. Another prince's power is at work here. Sometimes I would pick my kid up from school, right? When I was working like five days a week. I'd pick her up from school and I'd be so tired that I would come home and then take like a quick nap on the couch. And then I would wake up in a panic that I had like slept through the school run <laughs> and missed the school run even though I had like been in was back already. It's such a horrible way to wake up, it makes you feel sick man. You dare repeat me, Malakath. I am the narrow uh -oh. Chodala, brother, stop this madness. You bring this outlander to kill me, sister! Uh oh. You can't harm me! I have a powerful patron on my side! The staff protects him. You can't hurt him until we use the tonal inverter. I need a moment to get this working. Great, take your time. What is that? No matter, you are no longer worth my time. Oh, awesome. Scarfin! They serve the Prince of Bargains! Keep them busy while I finish this! The tonal inverter is ready. Stand in the field and focus the wave! Uh, did the what? Oh shit! My protective shield! What have you done? Oh! I'll destroy all of you for this! Oh shit, I might die. I'm gonna die. I died. I swear if I get asked what made you shave your hair one more time. Okay, let's try this again. Oh yeah, bitch! Oh, brother. Oh yeah, bitches! Did you have to come to this? A 
Azura, we've dealt with the false Nerevering, just as you commanded. Excellent. I might die, dude. GT, it's funny because my husband's is the same. If his hair gets too long, he gets really bad dry skin. Oh god, now she's crying. Get a grip of yourself, mate. That was harder than I expected. Again, that's what she said. <laughs> was so angry, so full of rage. Not like himself at all. Still, I can't believe I helped kill my own brother. <laughs> we did what was necessary. I know that. It was either Chodala or the lives of hundreds of Dunmer. All because he convinced himself he was the Nerevarian. Or someone convinced him. Either way, my brother is dead. And the cavern of the Incarnate has another resident. Okay, but he should get back to Vivek. Take Sunara and I'll meet you back in Vivek City. Your arch cannon made it quite clear that the staff was the key to saving Vivek. I need to take care of my brother's remains. Then we'll be done here. Okay. Is there anything here to it? I don't like it. Okay. Listen here. <laughs> Puny humans. So this is only halfway through the story. I wonder what's going to happen next because so far he's been our biggest threat. But maybe we're going to find out who was behind that happening to him, possibly. And that'll be the what we go up against. Right, um, go back to the shrine over here. Fast travel back to the palace. Really? Stuck on a branch. Stuck on a branch. Music's pretty cool here. It's very dramatic, I like it. Felt like I wasn't the real me. Yeah, it's amazing the difference uh, that your hairstyle can make to yourself, honestly. Speaking of a person that changes their hair on a regular basis, you know. The wee bard. So heft the flask and say a prayer, red mountains are bound to explode. Have a drink, but be aware it's <laughs> hey, let's go. the mountain full boat. That was nice. That was nice. It's no toss according to your witcher, is it? Excuse you. I don't like the looks of that sky. I don't like the looks of your face.
Oh, it's stealing in here. That's rude. Whoa, what the? <gasps> is he dead? Oh, this is terrible. Oh, he's just Lord collapsed. Lord collapsed. Tell me, Outlander, were you able to defeat Chodolon? Have you brought me a staff? I'm afraid Lord Vivek may not last much longer. Yeah, we defeated Chodolon and brought back the, the staff. And just in time. According to my calculations, with every use of Sunora, Chodola drained more energy from Lord Vivek. It almost killed him. We can use the staff to save Vivek. Just plant it in the floor, and the power will return to him. Okay. Oh, shit. Perfect. It's working just as I expected. What are you doing? It's killing him! What did you expect? That's the point of all this, after all. Wait, what? I've powered up the tonal inverter. Activate the wave! <laughs> oh, shit! What do you think I'm doing right now, Asna? I knew something was wrong as soon as I approached the palace. I could feel it in my bones. Oh, I've got I left was on my, my bones. way here when Azura showed me a vision. I no? saw Sunora killing Vivek. Even without Chodala, that damn staff is dangerous. The Archcanon seemed to know that Sunora wasn't going to help the Lord Vivek. I don't think that thing was ever the Archcanon. It called itself Barbus. As an Ashlander, I'm more familiar with Daedric lore than most of the elves of the Great Houses. Beyond that, I've made a study of the most prominent Daedric princes. Why are the Daedra relevant to all this? Because Barbus is a loyal servant of the Daedric prince, Clavicus Vile. I'm not an expert on the Prince of Bargains. But it seems to me that this was all part of some grand plan. Perhaps Vivek can explain things better than I can. Isn't he dead? Oh, we're talking to his ghost. Another d damn annoying dog. Shola's champion is correct. That was Barbus, faithful hound of Clavicus Fire, the shapeshifter. He killed the Arch Cannon. Took his place. Chodala sought the seal's device, impersonating Tarvas. It was all part of some elaborate plan. They tried to kill you? That was simply a consequence. Axe. We needed tribunal energy to locate the clockwork city. I was the easiest target. If Barbus enters Sotha Seal City, disaster will follow. I appreciate your help, but I must conserve what remains of my energy. Okay. Well, I didn't expect that, so GG game. GG. A memento has been added to Tonal Inverter. Cool, thanks. Um... What happened here? Oh, by the three, Lord Vivek looks terrible. Where's Archcanon Tarvis? He always seems to know what to do in situations like this. Yeah, we're fucked, man. The Archcanon's actually Barbus, and he tricked us all, and now Vivek's energy is nearly depleted. Barbus? The Daedric Hound? Yep. Wait, wait, I, d I don't understand any of this. But if Lord Vivek's energy has been depleted, then the moonlit... Red Mountain... My... Gods, all of Vardenfell is in danger. There has to be something we can do. If only there was a way to give Lord Vivek some energy. Wait, that's it. A blessing stone. Find the overseer and retrieve another stone from the construction site. Oh, please, hurry. I've never seen Lord Vivek in such a desperate state. Okay. I expect the overseers near the Welcome back. cantons watching out for looters. When people panic, they're capable of anything. 
with all the chaos going on outside, the Overseer closed the construction site. Get her key and bring back a stone. Okay. What about Barbus? Uh, I'm not sure, but our first priority must be to restore some of the Lord Vivek's energy. After that, he can tell us what we need to do next. Did Barbus give any indication as to why he did this to Lord Vivek? No, but it's got something to do with the clockwork, say. So the seal's private domain. It said that the place holds the secret to remaking Nern. I suppose that would interest Barbus and his master, Clavicus Vile. But Clockwork City can wait. The moonlit hanging above us, not so much. Why are people in a panic? A few moments ago, Red Mountain erupted and the moonlit above the city dropped dangerously low in the sky. Shit. I assume that was when Lord Vivek's energy was depleted. If we don't find a way to restore some of his power and soon, Vardenfell is doomed. What are you going to do while I get the stone? Someone has to take care of Lord Vivek. I'll make the preparations necessary to return the power and the Blessing Stone to him. I'm really operating above my station here. I'm not the Arch Cannon, after all. Well, neither was he. And again, neither yeah. was Tarvis, Exactly. Exactly. You, I believe in you, you can do this. Oh shit, man, this sounds so bad outside. Oh. It's moving. Oh God! Back, save us. That, I thought that was actually going to land in my head. Get the fuck out of here! Well, this place just got really nice. Your tomatoes and jalapenos are coming along nice, nice. I'm so impressed considering it's your first vegetable garden. So all this time holding up and no one thought to move it. My wife decides to run out and chase some damned looters in the middle of a disaster. Like your dress. Does that sort of thing. You think Lord Vivek's overseer would have a clearer head? The overseer? Uh, I need to find her for Lord Vivek. She ran into the unfinished cantons. She's been beating herself up over the fact that they're behind schedule, but she won't do anyone any good if she gets herself killed. My wife's tough as nails, but she's no warrior. Okay, I'll find her. Get out of there! That was too close. Wait, we're... Oh, and the construction site, is this it? There was someone back there, hold on. Hmm, who's this? Oh, here you are. We barely got out of there alive. I can't believe the Overseer's still in there. What's she going to do when the Canton sinks into the bay? The Overseer's still at the construction site? Yes. The Overseer ran in there when she saw the looters. We tried to follow, but then the moonlit began raining fire, ash, and chunks of rock. Last I saw, she was chasing the looters into the far canton. It's been such a success here, I'm not surprised. Why would the looters risk their own lives? Greed is a powerful motivator. We left tools and materials just sitting around, unprotected, when the priests ordered everyone to get off the streets. Looters happily risk their lives if there's a profit to be made. Okay, now we go in. Was a staff. Stand still, you damn looter. No 
one steals from Lord Vivek. Oh shit. I thought they said she was no warrior. She seems alright to me. Another looter. You want a taste of my steel too? No. Wait. No problem, King. Thank you for hanging you out. Have a great day. Blessing stones. Well, the arch cannon returned it after Lord Vivek was finished with it. So no need to fret about that. Yeah, you would need a greenhouse here, I think. Lord Vivek needs to borrow that stone again. That's impossible. We installed the Blessing Stone back in its canton and finished construction on that section a short time ago. Wait a moment. Does this have something to do with the chunks of rock raining down on the city? Mm, let's just say it's kind of vital that I get the stone. I suppose you're in luck then. We happen to have another Blessing Stone. It's at the third canton. Here. This key will open the door to that portion of the construction site. Just watch out for more looters and the rocks falling out of the sky. Also, I met your wife. She's a bit worried. Verona? Was she still angry with me? No, you don't have to answer that. You know my wife. I'll head back and let her know I'm all right. Tell Lord Vivek he can have our blessing stone as long as he promises to do something about Bar Dao. Okay, sure can. Mm. Head in here. Oh, I've got no space left for my inventory. Interesting. Where am I going? This way? Right, get me the fuck out of here. Get me the fuck out of here! Whenever I moved it would pop out and something sound wasn't working, but after I cleaved it with an earbud. Oh, nice. I hate when stuff just isn't, isn't working. It's like the most infuriating thing, tech wise. Okay, we made it out. Let's head back. How intimidating does this guy look? The big horn helmet on. Afraid? That was a really creepy voice. Aren't you afraid? The moonlit! It's raining fire from the sky! Lord Vivek, save us! Sweet. You've returned. It sounds like the city is falling apart out there, so there isn't much time. There is not. Were you able to get another blessing stone? We need to restore some of Lord Vivek's energy before the moonlit falls out of the sky. I did, yes. Perfect. Oh, I can feel Lord Vivek's essence inside it. I hope I remember how to do this. You'd better stand back, just in case. I thought it was my headphones, but I think my audio bit was dusty or something. Lovely. I 
their sparrows are nesting, so they're helping with the bugs. Lord Vivek's essence. I can feel it thrumming. Hang on, Lord Vivek. Sweet energy, like a sip of water for a thirsty man. Oh, thank the three. Lord Vivek looks better already. Of course, the Blessing Stone is only a temporary measure. We still need to determine what to do about Barbus and the stolen energy. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, God. Right, I'm ready to do whatever I can. As Lord Vivek has written, Ooh, look the at this. heart never falters. You are truly the Vex champion. Oh, it's not as good, but I it looks cool. I Blessing Stone was going to work, but I appreciate your help. Now go and talk to Lord Vivek. I'm sure he has a plan to share with us. My inventory's full, motherfucker. Increases stamina, increases magicka by 500. I'm just gonna... I'll just destroy this great sword. I don't... I just picked that up randomly. Oh, thank the three. As Lord... Outlander. My time grows short. Clarity emerges. Like sunlight breaking through the clouds. Barbus must have replaced the arch cannon weeks ago. All to set the wheels in motion to steal my divine energy. Ooh. Fuzzy, thank you so much for the raid. Hello everyone. Khaleesi, Williams, welcome in. Anxiety any cycle. Hello everyone and fuzzy. I hope you're doing good. I have not been able to join your streams because you're playing Last of Us 2, but I hope you're really enjoying it. Oh, thanks, Khaleesi. I'm, I'm getting ready to get rid of the pink so it's not been washed in a little bit because I'm I'm about to start stripping the colour out of it. Higher than planes, hello. I really hope you're having fun with Last of Us Part 2, Fuzzy. I am... Um, I'm super jealous that you're getting to play it so early. Moist Atom, what a name. Welcome. Thank you very much for the fall as well. Yeah, doing good, thank you. I'm currently halfway through Vardenfell main story. Um, We just had like the big bombshell about who's behind all of this. So we are... Um, we're about to go try and do something about it. You're terrified as always, yeah. The first Last of Us, I I loved that game and I did I wasn't scared all the time, but there was definitely like screaming moments for me. <laughs> uh but yeah. Glad to be here. Nice. Right, okay, so Hopefully this isn't a spoiler for anyone that's just coming in. If you're an ESO player and you have not played the Varden Fails uh, main story, which I think most people have, to be fair, because it's quite an early release one. Um, we've just found out that Barbus um, has uh, been the one behind all of this stuff. Yeah. We're about to try and work out how we're going to go stop him. There are a few jump scares and the music is ominous, yeah. I can imagine the music being super creepy. I've heard that the new one's extremely graphic as well. Um, which I, I like the sound of, to be fair. Okay. He went to a lot of trouble just to steal your energy. Every move has a purpose. Stealing my energy so discord and disaster throughout the land. And ultimately revealed the location of the Clockwork City. If Barbus and his master can bypass the wards and enter Sotha Seal's domain. What did you get, Mr. Don't for Father's Day? Actually, it just arrived, I can show you.
So for anyone that does not know, my household are quite largely into mountain biking. Just a, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. But my garage is basically like my husband's bike workshop. It's not even a garage for a car, it's basically just a bike workshop. So I got him this sign for inside it. And it's just like, a, it's a metal one for him to put on the wall. But that's it, it was nothing fancy. It's made to look like an, an original rally sign. It's like being um, distressed looking. It was just something different. We don't really spend money in this house on things like birthdays and Mother's Day and Father's Day and stuff like that. So it was just something I seen on Etsy that was like super cheap that Kiddo could give him. But yeah. We don't really do things. We don't we don't get each other anything for stuff like this. <laughs> You'll love it when you get to play it, yeah. I, I know that I love Last of Us too. I only played The Last of Us 1 in January this year for the first time ever because I only just got a PlayStation 4 in like November last year for the first time ever. So um, I was way behind and I still hadn't been spoiled. I still didn't know the story, <laughs> so... I feel I'll do okay with this one, but I'm probably going to wait a little bit before I play it. I'm not really like, I, I don't really, I'm not one of these people that has to play games on release. I'm, I'm quite happy to wait. Hmm. <clears throat> When's Father's Day over here? It, isn't all the Father's Days tomorrow, eh, tomorrow? And like all, like most countries it's tomorrow, right? Do you do breakfast in bed or is, no, we don't do any of that. Just a normal day. <laughs> no, I don't. We don't have any. We don't make it. We don't really do anything like that. We just don't know. No. Uh. So this is a ploy just to find the Clockwork City. Clavicus vile distracted me, weakened me, all to locate the Clockwork City. Perhaps we require a Daedra. To fight a Daedra, Azura's champion, Saren, in Archcanon's office. Seek guidance from her patron, but hurry, my time grows short. Also, oh, Australia is different there in September, right? I just know that in America, and it's actually tomorrow as well, which is very unusual. I feel like America and the UK don't normally have those on the same day, but... I usually don't care, but my hubby really wanted it right away and I didn't want... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, my husband's not even played. He doesn't play Last of Us, so... Me and my husband don't have any crossover of games except The Witcher. <laughs> that's it. There's nothing else we play that's the same. Father's Day is all the same. Well, yeah, it's not. So it's different in Australia, apparently. What the fuck is he about to soil? <laughs> Uh, how chilly is it in Scotland? It's not that cold. Uh, I can actually use the weather command to see. It's it's kind of warm actually. Mm, Eighteen point eight degrees centigrade. There you go. A wee bit, a wee bit windy. We never do anything, but might need to visit. My yeah, I'll like, I'll usually like get my mum something for Mother's Day. I usually get them like a book or something, but we don't spend a lot of money or anything like that and we just like go see them more than anything. Hmm. But yeah. Right, okay, so I'll need to go speak to Seren basically. That's fine. We can do that. Let's go. Did you finish the Vardenfell storyline? Um, also, anyone in here that doesn't follow Fuzzy, go, go press the button because she's an awesome streamer. Also plays ESO right now as well and is also quite new to the game, well, new to coming back to the game, kind of like me. So definitely worth checking out. Although I think you were starting Gramer the last time I saw you. But has obviously taken some time out to go play Last of Us 2. You know what to do, guys. Go press the follow button. Hey, GM. How are you doing? She just taken over this office. Outlander, over here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. Huh? 
Oh, it's this thing again. Mortal, the Lady, the Lady of, of Twilight, Twilight has words for you. This is loud. That was some noise she made there. <laughs> Just saying. I haven't finished this one yet, but don't mind what Alright. No problem. I love the city being destroyed aesthetic, so I kind of did side quest for some time while it was burning. I like that. That little backpack. I see that. Yeah, I can see that. So Vivette deigns to ask for help. I foresaw such an event, but scarcely believed it. Listen well. For if you continue to perform flawlessly, we might yet thwart the efforts of Clavicus Vile and his hound, Barbas. Her eye color than I was really nice. You just look so concerned. <laughs> it was a complete ship weather over here today. Lots of rain and stormy. Seeing what Butt Butt wrote, I think our deliveries of weather got mixed up. Yeah, we've meant to be getting thunderstorms for like a week. And I think England's been getting them all and we've had nothing so far. Or not not in central Scotland anyway, so. Right, I have to get your guidance in this matter. Just as I anticipated, the mysteries reveal that Barbas seeks to enter the Clockwork City. So far, so the sealed wards have impeded him, but the Hound has Sumara. You must beat him to the prize, the reservoir that holds Vivek's stolen energy. Do you know where the site is located? Such knowledge has been hidden even from me, mortal. But I know someone who can provide you with the means to travel to Sotha Seal's creation. Stand back, and I shall summon the Mage of Cogs and Gears. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that hi. Have happened. How <laughs> in oblivion am I? It did. Mage, this, this mortal speaks, speaks with the authority of, of the mother's soul. Hi. Interesting. Summoned by a Daedric prince and her mortal mouthpiece. I was right in the middle of a crucial experiment. But I suppose I can spare a few clicks of the cogs for Azura and my erstwhile assistant. So, did you break the tonal inverter? No, it actually worked fine, but Azura wants you to help me get to Clockwork City. No, not going to happen. No offence to the Lady of Twilight, but Soph the Seal was quite adamant about keeping the place hidden and warded against the Daedra. Wait. Pistons fall into place. This concerns Sunora and Lord Vivek, I presume? Yes, Barbus tricked us into draining Lord Vivek's divine energy. Barbus? Another Daedra. Thinking, thinking. So, so the seal's forgotten tool was modified to steal Vivek's energy, which in turn energized the Clockwork City. Lit it up like the top of Red Mountain. Even Vile's dog would be able to see that. So can you get me in or not? What is Barbus after? Wait, gears click into place. The reservoir! You need to reach the reservoir that contains Vivek's stolen energy before Barbus. I can get us to the entrance in Set's vault, beneath the Mournhold Temple. Ready to go? Um, actually, my inventory's full, so can we just wait a second till I clear it out? That would be awesome, thank you. I'll be back in a little second, just wait here. Want that green outfit? Yeah, their outfits in this are pretty cool. Aren't you afraid? Oh wait, I can't jump this wall. Fucking do that every time, man. Right, so let's see. Have I got everything on that I want? So we've got this axe we can get rid of. We'll sell this bow. Breakdown. Oh yeah, we picked up this new staff. Uh, deals. Can 
Oh wait, it's a frost staff, but it deals fire damage. Does less than what I'm using, so I can get rid of that as well. Um, anything better? We got this new helmet, which isn't actually as good. Less magicka enchantment, less armor. We can get rid of that. These are heavy, don't need them. Medium, don't need them. Medium, nope. Sell that. Mm, yeah, these can all get broken down. Cool. This and this as well. Right. Do -do -do. I don't know this area well enough to ever find these tables efficiently. Do that. Sell that one. Uh, I can break this down as well. We got any research on the go here? No. Uh, over here. Anything for this? Yes. I don't know why the auto research isn't working again. Uh, and then I've actually got an auto instant clothing research. There we go. Sweet. So that's them all done, right? that down. Um, let's see. Oh wait, let me see if I can cook in actually. Oh, we can do roast pig. That sounds amazing. Soup. Nah. I've kind of stopped. I used to just make everything, but I've stopped because it means I can. it's easier for me to make it for the Ritz. And that's alchemy. Okay, cool. Um, let me just sell stuff now. Oh, nothing says sell that, sell that. Okay, 62 out of 80. This is better. Much better. Cool. Oh, the sound, sorry, I need to turn them off actually, let me do that. The sound effects aren't working, I've messaged them, hold on. Alright, oh, okay, there's an update that I need to write, that's fine. Yeah, the better points, there's an update needing to be put through, so I've not done it yet. So I'll reject it and you can get your points back. Hmm. You've got to go. Oh, no problem, Kimo. Jesus Christ. Injustice Ultimate Edition is free on Steam. Oh, is that the fight? It's a fighting game, right? You're going off to do cleaning, no problem. Your phone discharged? That's disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. Thank you for using Dauntless Dreams for your lurking. No needs. problem, Jim. We appreciate your lurk. Your lurking is important to us. Please feel free to lurk at any time. Right, now we're ready to go.
Like we'd redeem them, but we give the points back now actually. Here you go. Oh thanks. You feel cold out? <laughs> I also oh, have this there. announcement Over as well. Here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. <laughs> oh wait, we need to do all this again? Oh my fucking hell. Mortal, the Lady, the Lady of Twilight, Twilight has words, words for, for you. you. I have this announcement as well. The work disclaimer. Are you looking for a cosy streamer to follow on Twitch? Then look no further than the Nook. Follow the link and find your cosy streamer today. <laughs> uh, right, we'll quickly skip through this stuff. Hello? Buy one, get one free! Fuck off, game. Ugh. Let me log out and back in. <laughs> Don't can sell anything. Uh, does this sometimes? I'll just log out and back in and it should fix itself. Wait, I failed it? What? Game, please! My cat stepped on the keyboard. It's fine. Normally it's Will when his kid gets a hold of the iPad. Just like start spamming crap. <laughs> Outlander, over here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. <sighs> No, you go. Let me talk to her this time. Mortal, the lady, the lady of Twilight has, has words for you. There we go. So right, this, this. All right, bring the guy in. They love shouting. Yeah, sometimes the the talking in this is a bit the volumes. That shouldn't have happened. Well, in oblivion, am I? Mage, this, this mortal, mortal speaks, speaks with the authority, the authority of the Mother's soul. soul. Right. The no. tractors, get me in. You're coming with me. Let's go. Boom. You'll need my help. Are we actually going to get to see the Clockwork City? I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I do that every time. I'm so sorry, everyone. Has it been long enough yet that she's died that I sing I'm so excited now? Can I sing it again? I mean, I feel like I'm keeping her memory alive by singing her song, you know? I think the hound used Sonora to get inside. We have to hurry. Hurrying. Run Dead. faster. On then, big baby. Assistant, Keep wait. up. Those scaffen have agitated one of the guardians. So where would I start if I wanted to dip my toe in here? So, um, you can buy just the base game, or you can buy um any of the expansions 
that include the base game and you'll get everything up to it. So most people right now, if they've not played it before, buy the Elsewhere pack. So if you get Elsewhere and make sure it includes the base game, you'll have the base game and everything up to there, which is basically... That's the uh, that's everything except the most recent uh, DLC, which Gramer uh, that just released. So you basically have like thousands of hours of content, and you can get it for like fifteen pound. Um, a lot of people I know got it from CD keys, and uh, it will just drop you in the game. So the good thing about ESO is you start in the game, but you can basically uh, ESO auto levels the world to wherever you are. So this is. This is basically all of the places you can go and there's a way shrine in each one and you basically just pick where you want to start the game and you just start the story and then you finish it and you go to the next place, you do the story, you finish it and you can basically do whatever you want. Most people start in Stone Falls, which is this little area and it does like, it's, it's kind of like the base game content and then from there you can basically just pick what part of the continent you want to go to basically so uh, i'm currently um down here right no i'm not i've done there and then i went to this is vardenfeld i'm up on this island up here just now i then did northern elsewhere you can basically pick their somerset down here that you can go to and you basically just go there'll be a person there you talk to and it will kick your quests off um so yeah, you can ESO is great because you can ju literally jump anywhere in the game and go. I want to start here, and you'll just progress. And anywhere you go, the game will just auto level things for you. So I now always start elsewhere instead of the start zone of the faction. You don't have Grimer. Yeah, so the tutorial part of the game, like I skipped it with this character because I had done it, will take you to the most recent expansion. But see, once you've done the tutorial, you can basically just move, go anywhere you want. You can basically just go anywhere um, in the game and just start doing the story there. But yeah, your tutorial area might not be the base game stuff if you buy an expansion. What I did is I got the base game and then I pay for ESO Plus, which is like £8 a month. And it gives me all of the expansions um, up to up to Greymoor. I just don't have the newest one. And it also gives you far more bag space, you get crowns every month that you can use to buy mounts and stuff like that. The ESO Plus is very much worth it. Plus the base game's like £5 on CD keys and then I pay £8 a month and it gives me everything else in game basically. It, it's it's really really well well done to be fair. Fetch me that thing's heart. Oh shit. Thank you very much for the fall, appreciate it. Can we dive or something, please? That would be awesome. Oh, I've got no stamina. Well, these two are annoying as shit. Let me in the heel. Thank you. Can we can we look? What's happening? Jesus Christ. Aside from that, uh the only thing I dislike is just uh I do like the fact that you can just quest whatever. Yeah, so I just went you could you could jump around and just be like, where looks nice. <laughs> I know like Fuse was saying Southern Elsewhere has a really good story but I thought well I'll go do Southern Elsewhere whenever but I wanted to change the scenery so I think I think after this I'm going to do Somerset. You can also see when you're in your quest how far through the main story you are up here so I'm doing five out of seven so far already. This is how much of your section of the map you've completed but the top one's your main story completion which is quite good so it's easy to keep track of how much you've got left to do. Well, this guy looks terrifying. Oh 
Oh, ow. Well. Ow, ow, ow. I'm getting better at using my heal, guys. <laughs> Basically, the way this character works is I produce the dead to fight for me, so the skeletons will run and explode on contact with the guy, but when they fall, I can consume their souls to heal myself. So that's why they glow blue. It means they have a soul that I can consume, and then when I put my heal down, if I aim it over them, it will consume them and heal me, basically, and any other people in my party. But I was getting, I just couldn't get to grips with how it worked for ages. <laughs> the only other thing as well is it makes it really hard to see their area of effects that are happening under their feet. Look at the craftsmanship, the attention to detail. Senator Seal is a true master. Amazing, isn't it? Such intricate work on something so small. Well, are you ready to go inside? That's the clockwork city, it's so small. Precisely. Oh, I see your concern. Forgot you haven't been here before. Use the entrance and you'll shrink down and get drawn inside. I understand that some of Sotha Seal's first entry methods had unintended effects. But now it's perfectly safe. Oh, so why is it inside the globe? Where else would you put it? Besides, once we get inside, it's much bigger than it looks. My former master said that working in miniature enhanced his precision and it made it much more convenient to hide away in store. Now, in you go. Uh, okay. Is there anything here I can look first? No. No. Here goes nothing. <sighs> hey, Zero Hunter. Over here. I'm doing good, thank Don't you. How are you? Uh, okay. What are we doing? How do we get through here? <laughs> oh, my favorite doofus finally arrived! <laughs> I need to talk to Barbus. Okay. You can talk to the daytime dog if you want, and follow me into the maintenance junction. Okay, let's talk to him. You may not believe this, but I really am happy to see you. I grew rather fond of you while I inhabited that dreadful dark elf form. Now you get to see me in all my glory. And soon, you'll be able to witness my greatest achievement. You're a little bit sick? Oh, that sucks. Hopefully it doesn't last too long. So what's your greatest achievement? I'm going to bring my master's grandest plan ever to fruition. You'll be so proud of me. Just stay out of my way and enjoy the show. I promise. It will be highly entertaining. Your master's grandest plan? Oh, yes, indeed. The grandest! My master and his partner seek to... Oh, no, no, no. Bad, Barbus. I almost gave away the surprise. Oh, you're a tricky one, you are. Emma? <laughs> My master will be so pleased that I stepped in and made his plan even better. Why did you go to all this trouble just to get in here? My master has been trying to find this place for the longest time. He actually set the ball rolling. I saw an opportunity to improve his plan and make it better, so I took the initiative. This will get me back in my master's good graces, you'll see. How long were you disguised as Tarvis? Worried about the arch cannon, the poor old man. He died in his sleep, all peaceful like. I saw an opportunity and leapt right in. Stupid dead Zack, he never even noticed. I was masterful in the role though, don't you agree? Okay. Nice chat, but I've got to run. I've got a barrel of Vivek energy to collect. <laughs> right, okay, let's go get this guy. Hmm. 
Hi. Well, that should take care. I disabled most of the defenses in this sectrum, but Sofa Seal installed numerous safeguards. I advise caution just in case. Barbus is ahead of us, but I know many paths through the city. It's just like the fox that chased the hound. Can we actually catch him? With my help, the probability calculates in your favor. But you must keep moving. The hound won't dawdle. Unless he comes upon an interesting smell. Or a tree. Since we know Barbus' ultimate destination, I can open routes he can't access. We know where he's going. Only one logical place. To the atelier where Sofa Seal conducted his study of divine energy. Sunora would have sent the stolen power there. It's not far. What Barbus and his master want with Vivek's energy, though, remains unclear. Uh, have you disabled the defences? Most of them. Might be a random contraption or a wandering factotum still out there. Obviously. And if Barbus smuggles in more Daedra, the other defences will become active. Clear the path while I open the route. Then I'll catch up and join you. Yeah, okay, sure you will. There's a guy right there. Let's see if I can just dodge him. Oh, okay. Oh, there you are. Shit, no! Almost caught me. Too bad you'll never get past the gate while the factotum's protected. The hound is right. Disable the factotums and the gate couplings. And always repair them later. Anything okay? The stupid thing, <laughs> nothing was working. Do 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 do. Ow, please don't hit me. Wait, oh, this side. Oh, I did it too soon. Okay, here we go. All done. Much run. Oh, he's above. Wait, what? You are persistent, I'll give you that. Looks like you need more scoffing. I can use these controls. Auto bombs. <laughs> Ow. Fuck off! No Jesus! Let me dodge or something! Ow! No! Fuck! No! God damn it! I hate they guys! 
I find it really hard to see where they're body attacking me. Like where they're going to do the slam thing. there anyway. Oh hi. Is it this way? Wait, where am I going? Yeah, this way, right? Yeah. Wait, is this the way? Looks like it. Doesn't look like the way I went. Oh hi. The hound wants your head! I forgot to press Q. Motherfucking hell, man. Ugh. Q is a helpful button. Great if my buddy would come and help me about now. Run! Let me get my stamina back. Okay, this time. He's doing so much damage, what the fuck? Oh shit, I'm going to die again? I don't understand how I'm meant to survive this guy. He's just hitting me with the flares that are doing like so much damage. Am I meant to be able to dodge them? Hmm. I wonder if I've got anything I can take. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, wait, look. Increase max health, magic, and stamina for two hours. Let's eat that. There we go. I could probably just run past these guys. Let's eat some chicken. That will, that's the way. Eat some chicken. Chicken is always the answer. Okay, this time.
Okay. That was better. If in doubt, eat chicken, guys. Make sure you pee. Look, master! The next toy found a way through, just like you said! But Barbus has Sunara! What does the next toy have? The vexed toy. The vexed toy has me, you annoying creature. This way. <laughs> you annoying creature. Okay. Master, I'm close to our goal. With the vex energy, I can open a portal and. Pray this works, my hound. For you interfered with a plan that wasn't intended for the likes of you. Oh shit. Master's mad at you. Why can't I uh, attack these? What's happening? Oh. Why can't I do anything? Oh, there we go. What is... What is happening? When, why is nothing working? There, that's it now. Why was my one button not working? That's weird. I'm so close, Master. Soon the secrets of Sofa Sil City will be yours. Oh shit. Ow. That was close. Get on with it, dog. Grant me access to the Clockwork City and I'll reward you a thousandfold. When you're finished with those cabinets, follow me. I need bother. Sorry, skeleton, you had nothing to, to jump at there. Time for work, no problem, Will. Thank you very much for hanging out. Have a good day. Beautiful, isn't it? Am I bleeding? Seal's favorite atelier. I think I'm bleeding. Already <laughs> inside. Maybe? That, that doesn't look good. That's the atelier behind me. Not only is this the workshop where Sotha Seal experimented with divine energy, it also has is one of the reservoirs that can Just be the used for the entire city. A reservoir currently filled with Vivex energy. And Barbus is in there? Almost certainly. Sunara led him right to it. It won't take the Hound long to figure out how to access Vivex stolen energy. Then he'll try to open a portal for his master, Clavicus Vile. Can he actually use it to open a portal? Maybe. Probably. It's a distinct possibility. Certainly the Hound and his master think so. Whether it will actually work or not, you have to go in there and stop him. The danger's too great to ignore. Tell me about the atelier. As I said, the atelier is the workshop where so used Sonora to experiment with his own divine energy. The reservoir located inside was specifically designed to contain such massive power. As far as workshops go, it's a masterpiece. Okay. No, no, that's inadvisable. The atelier has defenses. You have no idea what it will do if it marks one of Sotha Seal's apprentices as an enemy. Neither do I. You go. I'll use the controls over there and help you from out here. Sure you will. Of course you're not coming in. You better help. It's very good. I'll stay out here, honest. I'll help you. Enter you the energy reservoir. The defenses won't let you in. Salmon. Oh shit. Oh well I'm fighting this thing. No, that Oh yeah, I'm doing damage, okay. Oh my fucking hell, are you kidding? Ow! No! Shit! No! Please! 
Please, no! Clutch activated. Open that vault and destroy its defenses. <sighs> How we've all lived. Um, it's because I stay so calm. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's always helpful. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I only had to open one side. Okay, no mind. Oh, great, again. Responsive now. Open the north fort and destroy its defenses. Oh, this is rough. If I didn't have that chicken dinner, I would be nowhere near surviving this. Helps when I dodge stuff right enough. Much more. Well done. Final touch is active. Open it and enter the energy reservoir. Got it. Roger, roger. Range fluctuations ahead. Barbus is manipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry. Okay. Coming. I've turned this contrivance into a portal machine. Like my new armor? I wanted to wear something special when I kill you.
is almost here. You stop. Seize Sonora, then retrieve Lord Vivek's energy from the reservoir conduit. Lots of interference. Makes it difficult to lock onto a destination. I'll go ahead to stabilize the connection. and faithful hound. You have done enough for now. Hi, Barbas. Please. Sudden urge to make bread has overtaken me, so now I have yeast activated and I'm going to make a small batch of cinnamon rolls and some small focaccia. Oh my god. Can I come to your house? That sounds amazing. <laughs> Oh, my little, uh, my little pet, yeah. Look, he's quite cute, right? Uh, let's do our um, level up, actually. I feel like it's been ages since I've leveled, my god. Um. Unearth a skeletal mage from the dirt to fight by your side. I think I'm going to use this because I like the, I like having the skeletons fight for me and then I can consume their corpse. Because especially because the other guys run at the enemy and then explode their, for me to heal I need to then run to where the enemy is whereas if these guys fight by my side I might be able to have some of their bodies near me as well. Oh wait, what's this? I can upgrade my, my heal. Right, I'm going to do this as well. Right, so what can we change this to? Release a residual fragments from souls. New effect. Consuming a corpse also removes negative effects. Ooh. Can consume multiple corpses to increase the duration. No, I think we'll remove the negative effects. That sounds really good. And then I'm going to take this. The only thing is, what do I replace? I think I'm going to replace three with this. I don't really use three very often. Okay. So, you're the mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. Uh, okay, Clavicus, we can. How's the weather where you are? Are you going to let me talk? Salmon. Let me talk to him. Oh, there. Wait, wait, where's the thing? Where's the prompt? Game. Game. There we go. How dare you discipline my dog? He was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant creature you hold dear. You, on the other hand, require a lesson in manners. Me? Barbus tried to kill Lord Vivek and destroy Vardenfell? Indeed. What ambition. As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily excited and overzealous. He embellished my plans somewhat, but it all worked out in the end. And we found the Clockwork City. So are you trying to take control of the Clockwork City? 
This little flea thinks it's smart, but my plans are beyond its comprehension. Still, by delaying the inevitable, you caused my associates and I some trouble. You will stay here until you're no longer a threat. How does a few decades sound to you? No thanks, I'll find my own way out here. Oh, master. Quiet dog! Haven't you? Wait, who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here. Oh, Clavicus file. This isn't good. I lost you somewhere between the Clockwork City and Vivek, but it was simple enough to trace your energy signature to this Daedric tribe. Unfortunately, some power is interfering with my efforts to open a portal for you. It's Clavicus Vile. He wants to trap me here for a few decades. That would be unfortunate for you. A little bit, yeah. Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and Sonora. Expend a small amount of Vivex energy at the statue, and that should provide enough of a distraction for me to pull you out of there. Okay. Be gone, meddling wizard! Meddling wizard! <laughs> that stings, little flea! Little flea. I like Clavicus. <laughs> I know he's like the embodiment of evil and stuff, but I like him. Semantics really isn't it? He's my kind of guy. That actually worked. <laughs> well, glad to see you're still alive, assistant. Hurry, Outlander. The Vec is nearly spent. My time draws to a close. Were you successful? Can you restore my energy? Well, I have the staff, but the last time it did nearly kill you. So you retrieved my stolen energy. You stopped Barbas. Now, return what is rightfully mine. But how can we be certain it won't harm you again? To quote my 75th exaltation, certainty is the brother of fear. Nothing is certain. But I have confidence in you, in what you have done. Use the staff. Return my energy. Or not. In a little while. It won't matter. Yeah, I mean, if we don't use it, he's going to die anyway, so we may as well just give it a go, right? Oh, soon enough. And restore my energy. Here goes nothing. Is it? Are you okay? Oh. We did it! Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. Remarkable. No ordinator or armager could have done any better. You uncovered a Daedric spy in our midst, brought a living god back from the brink of death, and saved all of Vardenfell. Well done, my friend. I did what I could. As my next sermon shall proclaim. It's quite a nice point. Modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer, or the sincere garment of the humble. Again, you have my gratitude, and that of all my people. Indeed, even those who rail against the tribunal owe you their lives. You have done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior says, do not think the battle is over when the enemy is dead. The hearts and minds of the people must also be one. I must ask you for one more service. Of course you do. What do you need? Gratitude is its own reward, I once told the crowds in Ebenhar. But I found that some of my followers appreciate something more tangible. Help me reward those who aided in the saving of Vardenfell, so we can reassure my people. How can I help you reward? To start. Retrieve the Archcanon's signet from the Hall of Wisdom. It is time to appoint a new head priest. I shall gather my people and meet you at my statue on the central canton. It shall be a glorious ceremony, my friend. All right, I'll get it. All righty then. Let's go. This music sounds very...
Momentous? No. Celebratory? Maybe. It looks less terrifying now. Whee! Oh my god, look at the dogs. How far through am I? Oh, I'm on the last one. Hmm. That, this, I feel like this was a really fast main story, this, this, um, this area. Strange mirror. Okay. Signet. Ooh. His journal. As I ran to help the injured, I swear by Vivek's mighty presence, I saw a large dog scamper away. Hmm. Oh, we're right here. Rejoice. You cursed the darkness with good reason. Now praise the return of the light. Here's the stuff. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering crowd. Were you able to locate the arch cannon's signet? Yeah. Continue to guard it, for it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well, to aid you in your next task. What's in the bag? You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. A modest sack. Blessings from me. Though I would have you deliver them. Uh. You served me in adversity. Now join me in celebration. Hey, what do you want me to do? As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you ready, friend of Vivek? Sure. Overseer Shiralas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city. After relaxing with your patient wife. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Oofed. Barrels up. Approach. Why not do it himself? Your he has a very lazy sword. Of my brother Sotha Seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul, kneel before me. Was that? Did Lord Vivek summon me? Yes. Come on, hurry up, we ain't got all day. Arch Canon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Arch Canon Levul. My lord, I'm not worthy, but I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you, and I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. That's me. You come before me with an empty sack. Stop <laughs> seeing no sack. Fear. As I have written. Treat your enemies well, and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor 
I am about to bestow upon you. I accept it. Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the hero of Morrowind. Now go forth and rejoice. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Got some body markings. Right, well, that's us done here. Look. We have completed the main story in Vardenfell now. Very nice. Awesome. Right, let's go. Um, I'm going to be lazy and use this. And go here. And we're going to um, break stuff down. At least it didn't give you the title Champion of the Sack. <laughs> exactly. Right, let's go break a load of stuff down. Are you just dead? Yeah, I think so. Uh, oh yeah, we got a new... Um... Oh wait, this is a staff. Hold on, let me see. Let me have a look. Can you get rid of that? Uh, oh, this is better. Increases healing done by 6%. Right, that's the same as what we've got. This is really nice as well. Oh, we got new gloves. Too. Oh no, they're actually not as good. And break those down. I like this. Let's see what it looks like. <gasps> it's a shame it's heavy. What am I wearing that's heavy? Oh, it's the feet, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. to do there. Nothing to deconstruct here. Okay. Oh wait, why can't I deconstruct these anywhere? I've not been to a clothing one, is that why? Oh, it's over here. Right, 64. I really need to get rid of some stuff. I've just still got so much crap. Let's see. Do do. Repair all the stuff. Yep, 
Yeah, I just have too much crap. I should really sell all of this. I need to sell this stuff as well that I, that I stole. Just gonna get rid of these. I've got too many. Recipe already known. High elf dresser. Oh, we maybe give that to someone. Sell that. Sell that. I need to sell some stuff. They say clothing. Spoiled food? No. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. I made my dough and I just looked down. I'm covered in flour. <laughs> You're going to go to bed? No problem, Fuzzy. Thank you so much for that raid again. I really appreciate it. Have a good night. I'm actually getting a bit hungry here. Right, okay. I mean, we can basically just go somewhere else now. I'm thinking going to go to Somerset. I kind of want to go to Somerset. Let's go to the shrine. Does anyone else get any advice on where's where's nice or where we should try? Um, we've got Western Skyrim, Rothgar. Gold Coast. Southern Elsewhere. Merkmire. Hmm. Or Somerset. Might, I could jump and just see what it's like, right? Let's see. 